my boyfriend coming over later. <laughs> I'm obsessed with Stanley Tucci. I think he's a national treasure. I don't steal from set. I'm not that kind of girl. <laughs> Hi, I'm Laverne Cox, and I'm getting up close with Cosmo UK. The last time I was really angry was earlier today. <laughs> I was talking about politics. <laughs> My most memorable audition. The audition for Orange was pretty memorable because there was only one, um, which was fun actually. But actually, when I auditioned for Doubt, um, the, the, my short-lived CBS show, I remember I was doing a screen test. I had flown to LA, um, was living in New York at the time, and um, we did. And I had this big, you know, sort of, you know, I was playing a lawyer, so I had this big sort of closing argument monologue. We did it like we did it, and we did adjustments. And then they're like, "Okay, go wait outside," and. Um, I waited for like an hour and a half and I was like, what's going on? And they were like, the tape what did, wasn't working. I had to do the whole thing again. <laughs> and what was so wonderful about that is that I stayed in character the whole time because I've been trained. And uh, my teachers were like, you just always have to be ready to do it again. And so, um, yeah, that was fun. And it's nice that I got the job. <laughs> Who would I most like to work with? Oh my gosh, there's there, there's a long list. I, the first two names that come to mind are Charlize Theron and Viola Davis. No, I haven't. I don't keep things from set. I just did, um, but Inventing Anna that I just wrapped on Netflix, um, they allowed me to keep cl the clothes that I wanted and I wanted a lot of them. So um, yeah, there's this insane Bottega Benita um, trench coat that is life itself. <laughs> that I wear. So yeah, um, yeah, I got to keep some stuff. But it was, I was all sanctioned. I don't steal from set. I'm not that kind of girl. <laughs> <sighs> My boyfriend coming over later. <laughs> Date night. Um, yeah, I haven't been like glammed up for him in a minute. So um, yeah, we're gonna have fun. <laughs> wow, I've had a lot. I've had many at this point. Oh my goodness. I remember um, 2016 SAG Awards. We, it, um, the Ensemble of Orange is New Black had won um, for best ensemble in a, um, an ensemble cast in a comedy series for the second year in a row. And I was there with um, someone I loved that night and I knew I didn't qualify for um, being nominated the next year. So I just let my, I let loose and I was, I lived that, that night like it was my last one. And there were a bunch of trans people at the Emmys that year, at the SAG Awards that year. And the after party was so lit. And I was just happy in a way that I have been since, but in terms of the per personal and professional coming together, that was kind of one of the highlights. Yeah. The lasting memory. Oh my God, there's so many. I. Remember we were shooting in London one day and I was, um, I had a little bit of a break and I got a call from my publicist and she told me I was nominated for an Emmy. <laughs> so that was like, I was sort of like, this is crazy. I'm on set and I'm shocked. And then um, the first time um, Kate pulled a gun on me, <laughs> I was like, oh my God, cool. Cause I've been watching her for years and she's just as badass up close as she is in her movies. And that was incredible. Ah! I won singing with Stanley. I'm obsessed with Stanley Tucci. I think he's a national treasure. I think he is just, I've been a huge fan for so long. And so when I got to meet him, he was just so delightful. And I won't say what I, I won't give away what I do to Stanley Tucci in the movie, but I want, you know, he's, he's Stanley Tucci. I didn't want to hurt him. <laughs> I love him so much. He did not make cocktails. I hope we'll get to hang out and you know, he will make me some delicious, smearing off cocktail. <laughs> I would go back to my hotel and sleep. So Bobby, Bobby always, I hope he doesn't mind me saying this, Bobby, because we shot in London and in Bulgaria, Sofia, Bulgaria. He went out every night after we wrapped to a different restaurant. He's such a foodie. He loves to eat. And so he would go out to a different place. He said, I found this great restaurant last night and they served this and this and this. And I was like, I was sleeping. Like, wait, so he would like, after work, he would go out to eat and he loved food. And so he just explored different places. And that was great. I would go to go home and go to go back to the hotel and sleep. I'd order room service and go to sleep. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments below.